Hi people, in this video, I will be showing incidence of tax using a demand and supply curve. So, the first thing that we have to do is to draw the price and the quantity exits. Next, we will draw our demand and supply curve. After drawing your demand and supply curve, it is a good habit to indicate the equilibrium price and quantity. This is my equilibrium price and my equilibrium quantity. So the market is at equilibrium. And next, let us assume that in this case, we have an example of a specific and indirect tax. So there is a unit tax imposed of, for example, $5 imposed. So what will happen? The supply curve will shift up by the amount of tax imposed. So this is my supply with tax. And since it is a unit tax of $5 imposed, it means that the distance, vertical distance over here is $5, which is the unit tax imposed. So what will happen next? So as such, you realize that the new equilibrium point is over here at E1. So initial equilibrium is at E0. So therefore, the price increases. from P0 to P1, there will be an increase in price from P0 to P1. And what will happen to the quantity? Quantity decreases. A decrease in quantity from Q0 to Q1. So what is exactly P0? So previously the P1, sorry. So uh, previously the consumer will pay a price of P0, but because of the imposition of the tax, there is an increase in the supply. Uh, supply. So therefore P1 will be the price paid by the consumer. At P1. And as such, as at this equilibrium point, which means to say that this is the vertical distance, so this will be the tax of the $5 that we mentioned earlier on, will be given to the government. So this amount will be given to the government. Next, you realize that therefore, the, con the producer themselves, they receive at a lower price which is on a supply curve here, the original supply curve. So let me name this as P2. P2 will be the amount received by the producer. All right, with the unit tax imposed, it means that the total revenue Total tax revenue collected by the government is equivalent to the tax unit tax imposed plus the quantity that is sold in the market. So, therefore, this shaded diagram over here, it is the new tax revenue. So it will be P2, P1, E0, and let me, sorry, E1, and let me label this as um, A. So this will be the total tax revenue collected by the government. 
Then on the other hand, so how much exactly the consumer will pay more and how much did the producer will pay due to the imposition of tax? Initially, P0 is the price paid by the consumer and the price received by the producer, which means to say that from P0, right now, produce, consumer will need to pay at price P1. Therefore, this is the incidence of tax for the consumer. Incidence of tax on the consumer. It will be P0, P1. On the other hand, as we mentioned earlier on, this P0 is the price that is received, the amount that is received by the producer. But due to the imposition of tax, this will be P2 will be the new price level, a uh, new uh, price that is received by the producer. Therefore, incidence of tax on the producer will be P2, P0 this area. So therefore, this is how you derive the incidence of tax on the producer and the consumer. Thank you.